Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christina Nielsen. I'm one of the home visitors for the Building Block Program. And thank you for joining me today. Uh, I wish I could be at the office with all my coworkers making a big live video, but today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a couple of art projects from home, some Easter art projects. So, and my daughter's gonna help me today. So let's get started. Um, here's my little office for today. All right, my love, come and help me. We're going to do our art project number one. This is a great activity for all children. All right, so you're going to need orange construction paper, some green construction paper, some white paper. Um, I got this just to put some water in, but we probably won't even need that today. So and then you're gonna need a foot. So here's my foot. Let's use this one. Okay, so orange is gonna be your background. We're gonna make a carrot shape. You're gonna need your green paper for the little strands that pop out of the carrot. And this is where your foot shape is gonna go. So let's use orange. All right, I'm gonna need your little foot. Oh, and you're, you're gonna need some scissors too, of course. So we're gonna put it on there. All right. Give me, so this foot's a little bit big because I have a 10 year old, but if you had a toddler between like one and six, oh, perfect cute little size foot. Okay, you're gonna need you to hold that up for me, my love. <laughs> It might be a little bit cold. Well, you got a big foot, so I'm going to need to pat this paint on. Perfect. It's cold. Is it cold? Yes. This is a good activity to do with your children, hands-on activity. It's actually not as messy as people think it is. It'd be fun for like siblings to do it to each other, to it to each other to paint each other's little feet. Okay. I want to get it. I always like when I do footprints or any type of print with paint. I always gotta pack it on. Make sure you've got lots on there. Okay, I think we're good. My foot is painted. All right, now I'm going to need you to press down. Just not get out too much. There we go. Got your toes. Let's go to your left. Perfect. Now you can put your foot down on there for now. Okay. So look at that beautiful little print. It's a little bit big, so hopefully we can make... Now yeah, you'll need to get, like, let's just say a pencil. Because we're just going to... You're going to want to draw on, like, a, a carrot outline around the foot. So here we go. Don't worry, my love, I'll wash your foot in just a second. So there's like my carrot outline. It's actually okay if it dries too, so. Sorry guys if I'm going out of frame here. Let's 
There we go. So here is like our little carrot outline. And you get your, your orange paper. And you glue it on like that. And then you're going to cut another carrot outline. So let me get my glue. I think you can go wash it off now, my love. Okay. Stick your foot in the bathtub. Go ahead. Let's glue this. So let's kind of mark it here. All right. Perfect. So just try to stick it on as best as I can because it's still a little bit wet. So, but it actually dried quite fast. So now I'm just going to quickly cut around the edges again, just following the shape that you have right now. There we go. Thank you for your help, my love. My assistant. Look at that. So we have our nice little carrot footprint right there. And now, let's grab the green strip of paper. So this would basically just gonna make the little sprouts now all right so I, I mean it doesn't I don't think it matters what length it is right so sorry my paper is a little bit faded it's kind of old all right so let's start doing some strips just wanted to cut that part off because it was kind of ugly and faded I don't know let's say maybe about 10 or so so I can do five strips and then kind of cut them in half, maybe. There's probably a quicker way to do this, but Maybe I just like spending more time with you guys. All right, so let's look at this, this. Yeah, so I can like cut them in half and make 10 little strips. And now we're gonna go, so you can glue these on the back or you can tape them. I'm going to tape them right now just so I can quickly show you. You can kind of see what I'm doing, sort of. It's a little bit bright. There we go. These don't have to be lined up straight at all. It kind of looks cool when you curve them. Like, I'll show you what I mean. So, yeah, like that looks pretty good. Okay. Now let's grab a nice little strip of tape. So I'm going to use some tape. And voila, 
Look at your little carrot foot. That is so cute. Look, honey. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go on to my art project number two. This one is super easy. You're just going to need some black construction paper and a bunny cutout. So you cut out your own type of shape bunny. Maybe even just a head or something if you'd like to use just a head. That would actually look pretty cool once you see the outcome of this. And you're going to need some chalk. So I found some really, really thick chalk. Um, I would suggest you get the thinner chalks and maybe some neon colors. It would look super cool with the neon colors. Um, this would probably still look cool, so let's get started. Again, you can see it's all faded. My construction paper is quite old, so. All right, let's get going. I'm going to start with my favorite color, pink. And you're just going to color all the outlines, but by using different colors in different areas. So there's my pink. So I got my pink on each side. Now let's go with blue. Some baby blue. Oh, that's pretty. And I have my blue. My blue and pink, so I went on and did the outline around the ears. Um, Let's do the body yellow. See, and when it's thick, it's it's hard to like, to kind of outline there. It's really messy, but I mean, it doesn't matter because once I'll show you what you're doing on your next step, I guess it shouldn't matter, but it's it's harder to for a, a toddler to graph such a thick one too and go around the outlines okay so that looks okay and then i only have a beige one so i'll go around his little cheeks with the beige, make sure all the colors are connected. And there we go. So once you go around the outline, so let's remove that and I'll give you a little. So there's your outline. And then we're gonna smudge with our fingers. So either fingers you wanna use. I find that this finger actually works the best. So, and you're gonna go like this. Okay, let's start with pink. And smudge, 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 smudge. Here's my pink. Let's go to the cheek. Just give it nice little finger strokes. So you can kind of see what's going on. Aw, so cute. You want to smudge it nice and good so you want to put a little bit of 
force. Uh, some people I hear use a little bit of water um, if you want to get your fingers a little bit of wet, but I think it's it's fine. My fingers are dry right now and it's actually doing quite well. So now let's just make do a little touch ups. See, this is why it would look so beautiful with neon colors. Trying not to blend the pink and the blue. And then give it a little blow. See, a little touch up. And there's your little chalk bunny. Isn't it beautiful? This would look so cute. And you can like maybe cut it out and frame it, right? Make a little face now. You know me and some googly eyes. All right. What do you think? Okay, so those are my two art activities I'm, I thought I'd share with you today. Hopefully you enjoy them. Uh, look, they're quick and easy. Um, they're really cute and you can keep them. So you might even want to give something like this away as a gift, right? So look at how cute that is. So again, thank you for joining me. Um, stay safe, wear your masks, social distance, stay, stay six meters apart. Wash your hands, 20 seconds, sing happy birthday while you're doing it or something. And yeah, have a safe weekend. Uh, have a happy Thursday and Friday. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining me.